Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I'm excited to share with you one of the brand new dyes from Maker Forte. This is called Dear to Me, and they have a stamp and stencil version of this, but this is the slimline die, and I just love it. In fact, I love all the slimline dies they've been coming out with lately. I'll be sharing some more of them with you, but I've wanted to show you a really fun background technique to use with this dye. I'm using some alcohol inks in blues and greens and then the alcohol blending solution. And then I have this that I've had for a really long time. It's like the spritzer that you can use the air spritzer, but this one was for markers. So you might recognize this from quite a while ago. And I still use it for my alcohol inks. It works. And so, you know, use what works. For this paper that I'm using today, I've got a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of photo paper. Now I have a whole bunch of this still left over. I don't ha even have an inkjet printer anymore. I don't print my pictures anymore. And so I decided I'm gonna use this for this alcohol ink technique and it worked beautifully. Now look at this, that you get all these different colors when you mix a couple of greens. I'm seeing some blues in there, some different shades of green. It's really fun to see how this all comes together. So if you didn't catch that, I put down some alcohol blending solution first, added a little bit of ink, and now I'm adding a little more of that blending solution and just kind of spritzing that out here to get a beautiful, beautiful background for this dye. Now I'm gonna keep placing the dye over the top here just so I can make sure that it's gonna cover most of that background there and when I am happy with it, I'm gonna go in with some blues now. So the shades of blues that I have here are, let's see, I'm using right now the Monsoon and the Glacier. These are some really beautiful blues. And for the greens, I use the Mojito and Moss. And that's what I'm doing for this first background. So you can see that I'm just moving it around and wait till you see the results we get from this. They're always different. You never know what you're gonna get. And I just keep playing around until I'm happy. And you can see that it didn't really come through on the background, but it's gonna make a really beautiful background for this die. Now I'm turning the paper over and I'm gonna do it once again on the other side of the paper. This is actually going to create two backgrounds for us with one sheet of paper. So I didn't wanna waste any of that. For this one, I'm doing a much darker background. This is the Everglades that I'm using for the green. And then for the blue, I'm gonna go in with some Monsoon. And I'm making this darker because I'm going to be using some of the brand new glitter paper from Maker Forte. It's a shimmery, silvery, sparkly glitter paper. And hopefully it'll show up really well on the video I'll show you in just a minute. But as you can see, I'm just playing around with the green. Now I'm adding that monsoon. Look how dark and beautiful that blue is. And I'm just working it here on this paper. It works really well on the photo paper. If you don't have photo paper, you can use the Yupo paper or the alcohol ink paper that Ranger puts out. That works great, but I just thought since I have so much of this paper, why not use it up? The beautiful thing about working with alcohol inks is you can always add more of the blending solution and more of the inks until you get it to the way you like it. Look how much darker these colors are, so pretty. It's gonna look great with the glitter paper. Now, when you add this blending solution, you can see you get these blooms and those are really, really fun. They create these cells. So if you want that look, then then let them just go naturally. If not, then you can use your spritzer to blow that around a little bit. Look at these backgrounds. Now here's that glitter paper I was telling you about. It doesn't show up as sparkly on the video, but it is really pretty in real life. So this is what I'm using for this first die. And I'm gonna save out all these inside pieces that normally you would throw away because I figured I can make a whole nother card with these. I'm gonna do an inlay technique with these in just a minute. And then for the outline, I'll use the alcohol as the background. So I'm kind of just putting these where they belong in the puzzle. And now I'm going to take out that whole die. There's another piece there that I missed. 
And to put this all together, I'm going to get my card base ready. This is pre-cut slimline card bases from Maker Forte, and they are such a time saver. All you have to do is score them in half at the three and a half mark, and they are perfect. Now they are a little longer than what I need today, but it's easy to trim these down. So they make these just a touch longer so you can make any kind of slimline that you want, or any size, I should say. For this first one, I cut some British Racing Green cardstock, and that's what I'm gonna use for the outline. I'm just gluing it on with my favorite liquid adhesive here. This is the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, and I'm just gonna glue that down. It will stay down beautifully with this adhesive. And then I'm going to inlay all those silver pieces right inside. This is just like putting a puzzle together. I like puzzles, and so this is <laughs> something that I love to do. So I'm just going to add them. Some of these pieces are really nice and large too, so they're very easy to place. Then we're going to build this whole card and it's all going to be one layer, the same layer, because we did the inlay technique here. Super easy to do, very simple. On the smaller pieces, I just put the glue right on the card base and then added those pieces in. And there's a really tiny piece here that fits in just perfectly and then I did notice I had one other little piece on to the left of the left tree and all I, it was still stuck in the die so all I had to do was add a piece of glue and then use my magic wand here which has a kind of a poker tool on one side to get that piece right where it belongs very simple and we'll finish up that card in just a minute for the other two I am going to build these up I die cut a couple of pieces of white cardstock for this silver one so that I could build it up and it made more of a statement. I kind of like it when these are popped up a little over the background when you do a background like this. I really think it adds quite a bit. So look here, I'm just gonna place these where I feel like they're gonna fit the best with those alcohol inks backgrounds. Now I did let the backgrounds dry for a little while they don't take that long to dry. Alcohol ink is really quick to dry actually. So I set it aside for a little while while I cut all of my pieces and put together the other card there. But now it's ready to just glue this right onto that background we made. Look at how pretty that silver jumps out against the darker alcohol inks on this one. I'll glue down the other one as well. For the other one, I die cut a black die for the front and then I built it up on some craft card stock. I felt like that gave it a little bit more of kind of a wilderness feeling. And now I'm just gonna cut around them. Very simple, and look at how stunning that is. I, I don't think it could have turned out any better. I mean, these alcohol inks, they always make me feel so happy when I see the results. But look, it looks like it made some little mountains back there. This one has so many interesting like dark pieces to it. They're kind of inspiring, I think. I don't know, You, I hope you feel the same. I'm also gonna add some simple sentiments to these. These are also from Maker Forte and you can definitely foil these if you want to. Uh, but I thought the alcohol ink backgrounds did a lot of the talking and I didn't wanna compete with that so I left them as they were. I chose some white ones and some black ones for the sentiments, and I left them just as is and glued them right to the cards. The last thing to do is just add these to the card bases, and the only thing I had to do was cut them down just a little bit so that they fit perfectly with this die. Just gonna take my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer, and there you go. You will get through this, this one says. Isn't that beautiful? And here's the other one with that background. It's so shiny and the alcohol ink is just beautiful. And there's the one with the leftover or the inside pieces of that glitter paper. And there you go, three cards made very quickly in one crafting sitting. So fun to do. So I hope I inspired you to give this a try. I have done quite a few other techniques with other 
slimline dies for the backgrounds. So I hope you'll head on over to the blog to check it out. And I will be back real soon with more card making inspiration. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.